They'd been on the move in the forest for the past three weeks. Every morning, the rangers head from their camp to a new survey zone. That often means a hike of up to 10 kilometers. This time, they reach their destination after a 15-minute walk. They mark the central survey point. Within a radius of 20 meters, the rangers measure the entire stock of trees and catalog the different species. Overall, the inventory includes around 5% of Zambia's Miombo forest. The results are calculated later. The tallest trees grow up to 25 meters high. The more biomass and carbon storing capacities a country's forests have, the more money they can get from international climate funds. The Miombo forest stretches over seven countries and is the world's largest dry forest area. For years it's been shrinking, and so has its biodiversity, as demand for firewood and farmland grows. Due to population increase, there's certainly a possibility that some of the clusters will be harvested in the nearest future. And that is an indicator showing that there is some possible change on land use that is taking place in these areas. On their way to the next survey area, the rangers can see firsthand how drastically the forest is changing. New farmland is springing up in areas that were previously forest land. Years of monoculture planting has destroyed existing agricultural land and harvests. Abel Siampale explains to residents how they can farm more sustainably, for example, by planting fields with different crops. They need to ensure that they use that same piece of land for a longer period of time. And I think technology now is actually available. Um, extension officers are all over uh, the country now. If they actually interact and be able to get the best methods of utilizing a piece of land for sustainable agriculture, it will really help reduce the levels of land use. On their way back to the camp, the rangers meet a beekeeper who has several hives. Now he can harvest honey twice a year. That's good news for the forest, too. It helps actually secure forests, because the beekeepers would require their bees to forage within stocks of some vegetation. And so if you promote it on a larger scale, you are actually promoting conservation. By sundown, the rangers managed to cover another four of the 170 survey zones here. At the camp, they sit down for their first warm meal of the day. Their work should be completed by the end of the month, and that's when they'll find out exactly what's left of the Miombo forest.